Hello. Coming up next on Enjoy Harmonica, we're going to be looking at chords. I'll be teaching you chords. So it's two or th more notes played together at the same time. So you're going to need a C harmonica. So I'll see you soon. Hello and welcome to Enjoy Harmonica. Well, as I've just demonstrated there for you, chords can make music a little bit more interesting. You can play uh, chugging on them and you can play useful for uh, using uh, train sounds and that kind of thing. So chord is actually quite useful on the harmonica, despite not being played a huge, a huge deal. Uh, single notes and uh, things of that nature are a bit more important, but... As this course progresses, things get harder and harder for you. And the next step is naturally looking at chords. Now, chords is one or two notes played simultaneously or at the same time. <laughs> Simplify. <laughs> so, um, and if you blow out in any harmonica, which is, uh, you know, um, got a specific key, then that's the chord you'll get. For example, if you blow out in a... Um, an E harmonica, you get the key of E. Now you can blow it anywhere, anywhere. Uh, two or more uh, notes on any harmonica, despite what key it is, will give you that key of harmonica. So this is an E. Anywhere on an E harmonica, blowing out will give you an E. Anywhere on a D harmonica, this is a D, will give you the D. Chord. D chords. And anywhere blowing out of a, um, a harmonica will get. You're way ahead of me again, aren't you? You know it's an A, don't you? Gives you an A chord. What we're going to work on today, though, and demonstrate for you today is uh, going to be using the C harmonica. So if you've got your C harmonica, uh, have that handy because that's what we're going to be using. Now before we carry on, uh, please put a little note down below in the comment section if you know any other instruments that uh, you can play chords on. Now I know before I mentioned that uh, don't put down the guitar, but I'd like you to put down the guitar because, of course, it could be a bass guitar, it could be a lead guitar. So please put down in the comments below what instrument also uses chords, including the beautiful guitar. Okay, so we're going to look at the C harmonica. And uh, as you notice there, I was breathing in and out. Now, as I said before, on any uh, harmonica, wherever harmonica is, if you blow out, it gives you the chord of the harmonica. In this case, it's a C. Now, there's something in music terms called the circle of fifths. So, if you work out the key harmonica you're holding and count five notes, which I'll demonstrate for you in a minute, you'll get to the key that this is when you, blow, when you draw on the harmonica. So, blowing out, is a C, and if you can C, D, E, F, G, if you draw in the harmonica, it will create a G. But that's only on holes one, two, three, and four. So if you put anywhere in the harmonica, you get a C. If you draw in the harmonica, Holding on holes one, two, three, and four only, you get a G G chord. Okay, so we got that. Holes one, two, three, and four. The first four holes, you'll get a G chord. Now, if you also include the fifth hole. 
one, two, three, four, and five, you'll get the G7, which is a lovely bluesy sound. See, put the harmonica right into my mouth there. So that gives you the G7, the most blue sound. Another uh, chord you can get is uh, if you do hold four, five, six, four, five, and six. It's a major D. Okay, so there we are. That's the chords. What can be used for chords? Well, you can use, you can do something like, um, uh, you can do lots and lots of things. It depends on the feel of the music, and you can probably pick up some yourself. Um, for example, um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Let's take a simple one. Okay, it's just the rhythm you're looking at, really. You know, this also do something like um, I'm a Man, uh, the blues riff, I'm a Man. So, what that would be is one toes one, two, and three in. Holds one, two, and three out, which is a C and a G chord, and then holds one, two, and three in again twice. So that's the G chord again, and then blowing out holds one, two, and three for the last time. So I'll go through these again for you, just listening to them. Okay. Now, if you add a rhythm to that, you get this. Does that sound familiar? Yeah? So add a bit of rhythm and a bit of emphasis on uh, certain holes and blows or draws and you get that rhythm. When I was a young boy, about the age of five, I was paralysed. But that's another story. Uh, so there we are, that's cards for you. So thank you very much indeed for listening and watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Share my channel. Share it on Facebook and anywhere else you can think of. And uh, oh, just to uh, let you know, the next lesson is going to be single notes. So single notes, you're going to have to make your mouth really nice and small. But, you know, anyway, single notes we're going to talk about next time. Thank you very much indeed for listening and watching to Enjoy Harmonica. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and uh, goodbye.